Welcome to Sibling Rivalry, presented by AML Media. Today's question is, what's the correct way to cut a sandwich? Diagonally or vertically? The format will go as follows. Each person will state their case, then each person will present their counter arguments and closing statements. The score will be tallied to determine a winner. The arguments will be judged based on delivery, supporting evidence, persuasiveness, and rebuttal. Let's get started. First up, we have Steven. Steven, what side will you be arguing today? Give me diagonal. Okay, I will start your timer now. Okay, so this is an interesting quandary because I don't cut my sandwiches typically. But if I have to pick one that's proper is the diagonal sandwich cut because it's very presentable. It's got a good look to it. You know, you have your classic club sandwich, which is usually cut into little triangles. I just feel like the the straight across cut, what the question says, the vertical cut, is very, like, rudimentary, you know? Like, if your mom cuts your sandwich diagonally, she's excited to, to make your lunch. But if mom cuts it just straight across probably not even in equal sections. She doesn't love you. That's how I would take that. You know what I mean? Um, Also, the functionality of the diagonal cut allows you to eat the corners with normal sized bites. You know what I mean? Like with the straight straight cut, you gotta like kind of mash it in your face without a good angle to eat. Um, And I... I don't like to just mash the sandwich. I like to I like to to symmetrically take out that little corner and head forward. You know, I just think <clears throat> there's an artistic touch to the diagonal cut that your straight cut just doesn't offer. And uh if I was making a sandwich for someone I really cared about, I'm cutting it diagonally. You know what I mean? With a little kiss on their cheek. So, you know, I don't even, I don't really know who, who does the straight across cut unless, unless they're just in a hurry or they want to let you know that they're mad at you, you know? So, yeah, give me the diagonal cut every time or no cut at all. That's my argument. Okay, two minutes and 40 seconds were remaining. I will reset the timer for Gene now. Well, you gave me two sides. You said, one, I don't cut my sandwich, so if the court pleases, he is not an expert. Uh, two, when you want it cut, didn't realize my brother was so bougie that you, he, he needs the diagonal cut. Um, as As someone who grew up in the 90s, I don't think the diagonal cut, uh, unless you're going to a restaurant, was a thing that was happening in households. Uh, I didn't realize that mom wasn't good enough for you, just straight cutting, because that's who we are. We're salt of the earth people. I don't need this fancy diagonal cut. Guess what? Someone's making you a sandwich. That's good enough as it is. And to add the cut to it, Lady's got time, you know, she ain't got time for all this. She's making it, she's cutting it just to add that little bit to you. Um, I also would add that when you do the diagonal cut, there's going to be two bites of that, which is the corner of the diagonal of uh, the uh, isosceles triangle, I believe it is, that those two are going to be too much bread and crust. Uh, You know, because everyone knows... You can't. There's no such thing as a, a perfect sandwich because the meats move around this and that. So what you're doing is you're going to bite that first piece. It's going to be more bread than anything else in there. 
Um, I also would like to argue that <clears throat> when I do the vertical or horizontal, okay, you know, it's, it's, it's the straight cut, half and half, or square and square, as, as, as I'll call Let's it. Let's just call it straight cut. Um, I genuinely, I like to kind of work my way to payday. Same way with I eat my veggies before I eat the best part of my meal. I like to kind of trim around. I do the weed whacking of the crust before I get to that payday. Those four, three to four to five perfect bites in the middle. All right. So you're holding it and uh, you, you trim around that crust. So all you have left is perfect. Just meat, cheese and all the fixings on there. Um so I think this is a simple argument. Are you high class? Do you eat your sandwich with your pinky raised? Go ahead and have your triangle cut. To me, you cut that in half, and it seems like it's just a meatier sandwich at that point. Um, that's how we were raised. I don't ever remember my sandwiches being uh, fancy diagonal cuts. And then also, what about rye, to what about rye bread? That's not a perfect square, so you might you're not getting a a, a a a perfect cut. Not all breads lay itself out to do the diagonal cuts. What all breads do is lay itself out to do the straight half and half type of uh, cut that I'm arguing. So I'll leave it at that. You use different breads for different sandwiches. I'm not too fancy. There you go. Okay, time for counter arguments. Steven, mm -hmm. I will reset the timer now. Okay. I'm not boozy. But I am someone who's pretty cool. And I like to stay with, uh, you know, what most people do in this sense. Um, my grandma who every time we went to, to visit my grandma, we had sandwiches every day for lunch with some potato chips, and she always cut the sandwich diagonally. Always. Um, quite frankly, the, the, the argument about our, our late mother and how sh she didn't cut the sandwiches. She never cut the sandwiches. So you can't put that on your, your side of the statute. Um, I just... I have an eye for beauty, and the diagonal cut is just, it's more aesthetically pleasing. You know, if you see a, a Kraft Singles commercial, and they're displaying a delicious grilled cheese sandwich with some tomato soup on the side, it's going to be diagonal cut. Uh, like I said, in the culinary world, they're never going to cut it straight across. Never. I don't care if it's a club sandwich, if it's a, a roast beef sandwich. I don't care if it's a BLT. If it's getting cut, it's cut diagonally. Um, you know, there is sacred symmetry in this world. And one of those, those just highly appealing shapes is the, the triangle. Um, and and in your argument that with a diagonal cut you can't get the meat of the sandwich proper, that it doesn't lay out proper, is just erroneous. I mean I don't see I don't see that. I see I see perfect biting opportunities all around. So I, I don't think you have an argument here. Okay, Gene, I will start your timer now. Okay, well, let's start with life isn't a commercial. If every Big Mac looks like it did in the commercials, uh, everyone in the world would be eating Big Macs every freaking meal. So let's take that out of there. Yes, does it maybe look better? That's form over function. I'm talking about functionality here. I come from a world of a sandwich is meant for a working man uh, a, a, to get the job done and get it done uh, efficiently. I'm not here trying to make people impressed with my turkey 
and provolone. Sure, when you go to the diner, they do it. Yes, but you're paying a premium for that. Um, also, I would like to say, mom never cut your sandwiches. Guess mom loved me more because mom cut my sandwiches for me. Sorry, that might hit a little too hard for you, but that's just an argument. I got to win this one. Um, and also, when you're talking about the meat distribution, I guess you have an eight and a sandwich diagonally versus side by side. Uh, I kind of have in my life. Um, I've done a lot of cold and everything things in my, in, in my world. Does it look better? I will give you that. But form over functionality here is what you're arguing. I'm saying the more functional way to eat a sandwich is cutting it vertically. I rest my case, people. Okay. I want a final word. Also, I'm not here to argue. You said cool. I'm not here to argue if Steven's cool or not. Erroneous. Okay, well, we had some drama last week, so... Let it be said that the closing statements will be no more than one minute. Okay. Okay. I will start the timer now. Honest to God, I swear to my late mother, love you, Mom, I make a lot of sandwiches, and if I cut them, it's always diagonal. If I'm going to take the time to cut, it's diagonal. And... Like you said, anybody who served up a sandwich for a, a, a price, if they're cutting it, it's diagonal. So, I, I, you did good, but I don't think you have an argument here. Okay, Gene, I'm starting your timer now. I left the explosive for now. If you're talking toppings, you're not a tomato guy, maybe not a pickle guy. If that's on your sandwich when you cut it diagonally, you're going to have weird cuts in there. You're going to have weird half crescent moons of the tomato that slide right out. When you cut it half and half, you can plan better quadrally on the sandwich to make it uh, cut better. I'll leave it at that. Okay. We will tally up the scores to see who the winner is. I am cool, dude. I'm so cool making sandwiches. The scores are in. We have Steven with 16 out of 20 points and Gene with 18 out of Woo! 20 points, making Gene today's winner. <laughs> Got to win by two points? Now we have... Got to win by two points after these last two and a half, three weeks of... Just walking around my head down. Finally got a win on yeah. a harder part to argue. Now I'd you're say. coming back. You've got two to Steven's three total. We're coming, baby. Um, how, how am I two points behind? Yeah, let's break this down. I have. Oh. So, delivery, I have Gene four, Steven three. I didn't have the energy today. Yeah, I, it I was a low energy, energy no delivery. <laughs> I was in the sweet spot. Uh, supporting evidence, you both had four. Uh, persuasiveness, Gene five, Stephen four. Uh, rebuttal, you both had five. The rebuttal, you were you were getting your energy back, but uh, yeah, you made you made it um, more personal. <laughs> Not like a tax, but like more. I, uh, I brought your energy up. You were saying, "Oh shit, okay." No, 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 no. I'm saying <laughs> like you had more, uh, like you know, f you you brought it to the table of the ordinary person. Okay. And it, it hits, you know, it hits m more thoroughly than talking about, like you said, commercials. I was talking aesthetically, please. I'm talking like uh, uh, like an art dealer or something. He's being bougie. I was being boozy. Okay. All right. Slap hands. Good job. Was that all of them? Was that? It? Yeah. So, good job. We always end loving each other. But so the big difference was just on uh, presentation then. Presentation and persuasiveness, which actually I'm thinking now that we added the closing statements, maybe going forward, delivery and persuasiveness will become oh, one i win one and now my and wife wants no, to no you would still you still would have won or add an addition or 
an additional category for closing statements because closing statements I just weighed the other categories more I with the you. closing statement, but maybe closing statements become okay their own. Well, hey, you're the uh, judge, jury, and yeah. persecutor, so yeah, that's what you want. What you want? All right, damn. but that's not a two point win. I I need it. Um, now that's all said and done, I, I I like to end it that I'm a ver. I I like the diagonal cut. Not, yeah, it is the. You know what? This is uh this is debate club. So you you get to talk afterwards and um the post game show. Post game show. Did we win this? Yes, we did. Uh, but I have to say. The the vertical cut is is the way to go. It is fancier, takes no more time, um, and add what you said. You lost energy. Maybe you're you're in a brain fog. No, yeah, I I, I which I've shit the bed really bad in here. I, but your point, uh, a grilled cheese with tomato soup has I, to be I, diagonal. I should cut. have had that in my my argument. But I'll say this: like this is a tough fucking thing to to debate because. It really is just a personal preference. It is. Um, yeah. I'll tell you what, you know, it's a weird... I, I wish the argument would have been cut or no cut. Because I would have went no cut all day. I think I still would have demolished you there. Cause you, Not demolished. I think I still would have won there, though. Okay. But I, what I would say is um, when she first said diagonal versus vertical cut... If you're, it depends, I guess it depends on the bread. It, that doesn't matter. Well, yeah, that's a whole, because I'm, you know, you can't diagonal cut every sandwich. Yeah. So. But I was going to say, like, the traditional, uh, you know, the heart-shaped kind of bread, you know, a loaf where, not heart-shaped, but square in the bottom of the top kind of has like a little boobage. Yeah. You know, like a loaf, like, you know, loaf of white bread kind of yeah. has like a little thing. Vertical or horizontal on that? I don't cut. You don't cut. I'm not a cutter. See there? That's a different one because it's, it's different shapes. But I like it. I'll take the victory. I'm not going to talk myself out of anything. This has been sibling rivalry. Boom. Boom. First shot this time. <laughs> um, Gene Labordi is my brother. Co-host, co-arguer, debater. Stephen Labordi and Rachel doing all the hard stuff. Thank Ma you very much for doing all that. Master debater. The master of the I, 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 master debater. Um, join us. We got what's the new social media? Threads. We're on Threads, baby. We're hitting there first. Let us be the next wave. Come on. We're on Team Zuckerberg. Yeah, dude. We're listen. We're f cool to hang out with. So you want to give us enough viewership so we can come and hang out with you guys. All right. But if you're on Twitter, we're on there, too. We're on everything. <laughs> but if this threads works out, this might be the, the ticket. Did you guys see that Zuckerberg apparently is going to, like, like uh, MMA fight yeah. Elon? Is that really happening? So the robot versus alien is what's happening. <laughs> I'm framing it. Yeah. I hope that's real. It's Elon be too, has the weirdest layup. Sorry. It's going to be two nerds just slap fighting each other. But uh, thanks for joining us here. Uh, everyone have a good day, week, and... Next time you're cutting your sandwich, I think you're going to think about it. So we're giving the people's, we're giving you some, some, uh, food for thought. No pun intended. That was pun intended. Boom.